In this video, we're going to be examining zero pairs and trying to get a better understanding of how zero pairs can help us with adding integers and subtracting integers. This whole idea of adding integers and subtracting integers, let's take a look at this simple example on, that's on the number line here. Here we have a positive 3 and we have a negative 2. The first number is positive, so the first number moves in the right direction. The second number is negative, and it's going to move in the left direction. This is why we end up at positive 1 on the number line. Let's take a look at integer tiles. Here we have three positive integer tiles. Here we have two negative integer tiles. If we take this idea of zero pairs, a positive and a negative cancel each other out, so in effect we're left with zero. So let's take a look to see how that works here. This pair cancels out. This pair cancels out. And so now we're left with one positive integer. So that is why 3 plus a negative 2 is a positive 1. We see it on the number line, and we can understand it with integer tiles and with using zero pairs. Now let's take a look at this idea of zero pairs and apply it to subtracting integers, which sometimes people have a hard, uh, some difficulty with understanding this concept. So here we have a different problem here. We have three positive integers and we're subtracting two negative integers. Remember, zero pairs, a positive and a negative, cancel each other out. Now, if we can see in this problem, there are no negatives to take three to take away from three. We need two negatives to take away th from three. So how can zero pairs help me solve this problem? Remember, zero pairs is the same as zero. So I would like you to stop the video for a moment, talk about this or think about this and think about how I can apply zero pairs to solve this problem. So pause the video, have a brief discussion, and then let's return. Okay, I hope you've thought about this. Let's take a look at these zero pairs. I have to take away negative 2, but there aren't any negative 2 over here that I need to take away from. I can add zero pairs to help me do this. So let's bring in two zero pairs. I brought in two zero pairs because I need two negative tiles. And remember, a positive and a negative cancel each other out. So now let's take a look. I can solve this problem now. I can take this tile away. I can take this tile away. And what I'm left with is 3 plus 2 is 5 positive tiles. I'm left with 5 positive tiles. Let's take this concept and let's look at another problem. Here I have 5 positive integers. I have 4 negative integers. I can use 0 pairs to solve this. Remember, in this particular problem here, I have no negative force to take away from this side, but using zero pairs, I can solve this problem. So let me bring in four zero pairs. To solve this, I can take this one away. I can take this one away, I can take this one away, and I can take this one away, and I'm left with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 positive tiles. 9 positive tiles. Let's take a look at one more example. I have three negative tiles, and I'm taking, taking away two positive tiles. I'm using zero pairs. How many 
zero pairs would I bring in? I'm hoping you're saying that you would bring in two zero pairs. Because I need two positive tiles to take away from. So if I take away two positive tiles, I am left with one, two, three, four, five negative tiles. Do you see a pattern here that in this instance a negative three minus two is the same thing as adding a negative three plus a positive, excuse me, plus a negative two and that would equal negative five. Let's go back to the previous problem. Five minus a negative four equals nine. Five plus four equals nine. Let's go back to this problem here. 3 minus a negative 2 equals 5. And that's the same thing as saying 3 plus 2 equals 5. In every instance here, what I'm doing is I am adding the opposite. I am adding the opposite. I am adding the opposite. 